Good morning, everyone. Hi, how are you? Hope you're well. I just thought you could see this this morning. Do you know what? I very rarely do lives and you actually get to see my face. It's always my hands. And I thought, you know what? On a day when I'm really tired and I'm looking awful, let's do a little bit to face. So um, I'd just like to say hello to you all, really, um, properly. Um, let's start over on Facebook book um let me see so christine was first good morning to you how are you julie morning to you as well and adele uh, and helena i hope you're all well i hope you've all had a fantastic week so far the weather's turned now here hasn't it in the uk it's a little bit rotten now <laughs> um let me see youtube good morning tracy 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 tracy's creative place Good morning, and good morning to everyone else. Um, Isla, yeah, not so dry. Good morning. Um, definitely a day for staying in and crafting. That's what I'm going to be doing today, all day. Um, Laurie, good morning to you as well, and to Barbara. Hi from Germany. Hope the weather's better for you over there. Mind you, it's autumn now. We kind of expect this, don't we? Nice wallpaper. Yeah, thank you. This isn't my craft room. This is my dining room. But I'm here for a few weeks. Could be months. Depends how quickly my husband gets on and finishes the um, the office studio craft room. Hi Vicky, Vicky Hooper, good morning. Diane, hi. Good job you can't see me. Well, yesterday I went up to the craft stash, so sort of headquarters, the office up there. And um, I left very early in the morning. So I left, uh, I actually left my house at 3.30 in the morning because it's usually about a four and a half hour drive up there. Um, I had a meeting scheduled for nine o'clock, an in-person meeting, so I had to be there by then. I walked in the door, I think it was about 10 to nine, because I got held up in motorway traffic. But thankfully, it's not nice, but thankfully everyone else also got held up in the same traffic, so uh, I wasn't late. And then I was doing a meeting all day. We only had a quick sort of 20 minute, grab a sandwich and get back to it. Uh, left there. I think I left there about half past four in the afternoon and I walked in the, my door at home at 10 o'clock last night and I feel a little bit sleepy today. Um, let me see. Your mum is 88 today. Happy birthday to Julie's mum. What's her name? Um, good morning, Tracy. Yeah, so hi Carmen as well. Right, okay, so now speaking of Julie, um, one thing I also wanted to do was to say thank you, Julie, because she sent me this really lovely birthday card. Let me just make sure you can all see it. So Julie posted this to me a couple of weeks ago um, and it said happy birthday on it, so I left it. It was my birthday last week. Um, and yeah, it's really sweet, so thank you. I just wanted to show everybody. It's really nice. So, and there is a little message in there as well. So Julie, who's on... Um, Facebook at the moment, Julie Gued. I never know if I'm saying it correctly, but I'm gonna go with that. Um, yeah, and I can see she's used some textures, items and things in there. So that's lovely. So I just wanted to show everybody, so thank you. Um, that's really lovely. Um, and yes, I had a lovely day. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, Shirley, happy birthday, Shirley, 88. I was gonna say 88 in bingo is two fat ladies, isn't it? <laughs> Let's not go down that route. Um, but yeah, happy birthday to Julie's mum. Thank you, Vicky. Um, yeah, I did take the day off on my birthday, but Craft Stash, as always, did a lovely post with an old photo of me. Not that old. Um, okay, so, uh, Laurie, long day. Yeah, it was a long day, so I'm looking a little bit sleepy today. So anyway, I just wanted to say hello to you to your face because I never get to do that, and it's really nice to chat to you all properly. I'm not just a set of hands, but what we're going to be doing today is I am going to be continuing with this purely because I had such a long day yesterday I didn't get a chance to think about anything else um, to do today. So this is as far as we got with the printers tray. We've been making this from scratch and if you're just joining us you can go uh, back through the previous lives from a Wednesday and uh, see how we made this. So there's been two previous videos. Um, I'll do this today and then next week we'll definitely be sort of card making to try and give everyone a break from it. I don't know how long I'll be live for today because I have got lots and lots of work to do, but I, de I didn't want to call off. I wanted to, um, you know, have a chat with you all and catch up and uh, get my get my mindset right for crafting before I get on with work. Um, oh, good. yeah, okay. Your mum said that too, fat lady. So I'm glad she said that and it wasn't just me, Julie. Good morning, Julie Bayliss. Uh, yeah, wet Birmingham. It's windy here as well. I can hear the wind hitting the back of the house. 
Good morning, Sam. How are you? Uh, it's funny because Sam and I are both kind of between craft rooms at the moment. Um, so we're sharing sort of storage ideas and yeah, it's going to be a bit of a race to see who gets finished first, but I'm pretty sure Sam's craft room will be done first because my, I think you've been painting yours, haven't you, Sam? And I haven't even got walls. So I think we know who's going to be uh, in their craft room and crafting in there before me. Okay, so shall we get on with crafting? Let's turn the camera around so you can see what's on my desk. There you go. So it is the box. Now I did, as promised, if you were watching last week, um, hang on, let's just say who said hello. Hello, Elaine. Hope you're well. Um, so this is as far as we got. And then I did say I was going to start on the brush strokes. So this is this set from Textures. I wanted to add some um, brushes, paint tubes, things like that in. Um, so what I've done is I've die cut. I, want, I didn't want to sit and use my alcohol inks to colour everything in. So I've started die cutting. I'm going to do a bit of fussy cutting, paper piecing. This set is still available. It's absolutely brilliant. Do you know what? I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. Mind your eyes if anyone gets dizzy. I'm going to do that like so. Is that okay? Hopefully that's okay for you all. Just so you can kind of see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Let's put the tray to the side for a moment. I'll stand that up. And we'll focus on these. But I just want to have a chat while I'm crafting really. So let me know what have you all been doing this week. Hi Melissa Hall. How are you? I'm not sure if I said hello to you. I don't think I did. So, oh, from USA. What's it like over there at the moment? Well, I suppose it depends whereabouts you are, but looking for, Tracy's looking forward to seeing the tray fill up. Yes, oh my, it's kind of getting to the point where now I need to, I need to see a bit of a boost in it. I don't want to lose interest. I'm not going to lose interest, but I don't want to put it aside and forget about it, um, which is something that I often do. So I want to just keep going. So what I've done for each one, I have cut some metal pieces. I've cut some white for the paint tubes. I've cut a colour for the paint tubes. Um, yeah, we'll just start paper piecing these. So if you've not seen these, the reason they've got the tabs on, you might see the tabs a little bit clearer on here, is because these are made to be a kind of dimensional. Oh, sorry, I've got the light on there. So they've all got tabs on. Now the tabs can easily be snipped away if you don't want to use them. But the idea is that they, they all fold, so you fold them inwards, one, two, there you go, so one on each side. And then you can shape your tool, so I tend to just do it either with my fingers or just with a pokey tool. Pokey tool is quite good for this thin bit, to be honest, just to pinch it around. And then what you do is you just add your glue to the tabs and stick the whoops stick that on and that gives it a, sh a rounded shape rather than sticking it down flat so that is the same for the uh, so we've got a calligraphy pen we've got a paint thin paint brush a big paint brush and two tubes of paint as well so it's the same for all of those oh and the lid also uh, but to be honest I tend to not do the lid just because it's small I don't have the patience <laughs> um, good morning Sharon hope you're well Thank you for joining us. Carol, you've been stamping, colouring and fussy cutting numerous images ready for Christmas cards. Well, aren't you good getting ahead? Do you want to come and do some of mine? To be honest, I was thinking actually, with everything I do for Craft Stash, I've probably got 100 Christmas cards already anyway this year. So um, I'll be fine for Christmas. I just need to dig them all out. I like, if I'm going to make a Christmas card, I like to make it specially, but I just don't have the time. So I'm going to use the book binder glue. Oh, I noticed the other glue is back in stock, by the way. Um, I have pinned... Oh, do you know what? Ignore... So send stars to see your comments. Um, please don't do that, anybody. Don't, don't worry about sending stars. I'm going to un... If I can unpin that, I'm not sure if I can. Um, ignore that comment everybody uh, i have actually got a comment is that pinned let me just make sure yeah pinned at the top um that takes you it's an affiliate link and it takes you through to craft stash so if you're going to purchase anything this morning from watching this live um or i suppose anything else during the day it's fine if you 
can pop through to the affiliate link it just means that i get a very small percentage of anything you buy and it doesn't cost you any more um like i say i don't understand why there's a pinned comment saying send stars to see your comment here i can see that and i didn't do it it's one of those things that facebook does please don't well you can send stars if you like but literally they're pennies so don't worry about that uh, i'm not asking anyone to, to send stars i do this completely for free um, but yeah, if you do purchase anything from Craft Stash, it always helps us if you pop through to our affiliate links. The same, I've got it on YouTube pinned in the comments as well uh, as a pinned comment. So yeah, that'd be handy. But the brush, the brush strokes die set that's available on Craft Stash at the moment. There's a few left. Um, there's also a coordinating stamp set, by the way which is really good fun. I must show you that one day because it's a little bit different to usual stamp and die sets. But the glues I was saying, so the bookbinding glue, I think is still available on Craft Stash. I don't think it's sold out yet, but it was getting low in stock. Um, but the other glue, the, oh, have I got it here? I don't think I have. The Craft Stash, the long blue and white tubes that have the double ends on, they're back in stock now. And if you're a VIP, there are a couple of different offers. So there's three for two and there's um buy three get three or something like that so there's a couple of good deals on those so um yeah check those out if you get chance today so i'm just going to paper piece of so that metal across the top there because that's usually what you'd have with your um paper brushes the metal bit um let me see do, 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 do. let's just go back down good morning rosalyn do not worry about being late i'm gonna be late for everything today hi suzanne jenkins and karen sorry i missed a few people coming in and michelle hope you're all well and karen oh, Ka oh yeah because karen had been doing her christmas cards so i did see you what's the difference between book binding glue and the other craft stash glue well, the book binding glue is made specifically for paper um hence you know when you do book binding it, it's really really good um for holding paper and that together whereas your general glue will do things like uh, it will stick fabric, foam, vellum, cardstock. This is specifically for your paper and your thin cardstocks when you're doing, you know, when you're doing your book binding and you do the glue on the end. Does that make sense? I've never actually done book binding, um, but I know book binding glue is extremely good for paper crafts. So I hope that kind of helps. So I'm going to put a little bit of ink on the bottom of the bristles ground espresso is fine i'm not going to actually use a new ink i've got some glue or something on there i'm just going to use what's left on my brush here just to add a bit of shadow to the bottom of these there see just made that a bit darker on the bottom and do you know what let's use the same one and just brush around the edge of here too and just give that a little bit of shading and color so you can't really do it on the metal it's funny i don't know if anyone else ever does sort of travels or does a lot of driving but driving always makes me feel so uh, it makes me feel hungover that's how i feel to so feel hungover i'm not going to harp on about it but um but it's a really odd feeling i feel like i've been out at the pub for hours i promise i didn't <laughs> But when I used to do TV, it was often late nights and long drives. And um, yeah, that's often the, the, how I used to feel. So you can see they're just building up the little 3D. Um, well, so I suppose it'll be 3D, kind of 2D paintbrush there. I'm just holding the mirror card and everything on. There we go. Um, and then let's do one of these. Now, I need to explain, actually, if you're looking at the die set on craft stash there is a coordinating stamp set as well have i got it here i must admit i'm not 100 percent sure it's still in stock oh here's a nice example of those actually used so you've got them in bright colors there um do, 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 do. this is my brush strokes little tray where are you not that one it's this one now i clearly didn't put I didn't put the stamps back properly last time I used them. Uh, Laurie's prepping projects for an art teacher for a pre-K. Pre so is that pre-kindergarten? 
I don't know. I don't know what you have over there. Is it kindergarten and first grades? Um, so you're prepping projects for an art teacher. I see. So she asks you to help her out doing those. Mm. Teachers are amazing, aren't they? Because I popped in to see some friends on uh, ooh, Saturday morning. Just dropped in and she's a primary school teacher, like nursery teacher, and her and her other teacher friend were sitting in the garden and they were laminating and cutting things out and all sorts. And I just thought on a Saturday morning, they, you know, amazing. And they weren't complaining. They were quite happy. They were having a good gossip at the same time. So this is the stamp set. Now, I haven't got the easel. So there's the big easel stamp set. Stamp. Let's lift that up so you can see it. Okay, so there's the big easel. And then you've got these main pieces now the, the brush and the two tubes are the ones that I mostly stamp and die cut they do coordinate with these but now here's the but these were made <laughs> the dies were not flipped by I want to say either the factory or the graphic design I'm not sure who it falls under but someone should have flipped over the design of the dies so that they lined up when the stamps were stamped but they weren't so the stamps and the dies are identical now because they're not symmetrical images that does cause an issue so for example the roll of the tube um, on the left hand side is on the right hand side on the dies okay so when we got it got it all and we realized it was oh panic um but i realized actually there's a really cool technique that you can do which requires stamping your die and it actually works brilliantly and you'll see that's why I've actually got hopefully you can see that some shading in here just a little bit shall I do it and show you because I think it's a really cool technique I'm going to just do it here so um, let's find the dies that match shall we do it with the if I do it with the paint tube hopefully you'll be able to see you so you can you can stamp these stamps directly onto your backing paper okay um, but you could also do do it this way uh, let's take Versafine let's take an acrylic block just quickly so it's kind of oh um, I'll just be just about be able to see so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stamp onto my die now the die has already got some score lines in bed lines in there you can probably see those um, but what we're going to do is add some ink to the stamp and stamp onto the die now I'm going to pull this close to me so I can get my head over it a little bit more because it is important sorry if you can't see this but I'm literally just popping that onto the die okay so can you see there I've stamped onto the die okay then I'm gonna have to move things around so I can get my die cutting machine in this is totally going off piece this is not what I was going to do today but do you know what it's all crafting and you might have some other dies if you've got any sort of symmetrical dies at home you should be able to do this if you've got stamp and die sets and they're solid dies right so where's that piece of paper so let's now just carefully lift up carefully lift this up or just touching it by the tabs turn that over pop that down and run that through so like I say, you can use the stamps on their own, you can use the dies on their own, or you can do it together this way. Uh, let's get our pokey tool and release this. Look at that. So then you've got all that detail. I'll just put the tabs under so it's a little bit clearer for you. Okay. Can you see that? I don't know where best to put it. Is it blurry if I bring it up there? Let's just move my die cutting machine out of the way for a moment. Oh. There. So you see you've actually stamped the detail onto the die and then transferred it. Now what happens is unless you give this a wipe and dry it, the ink just sits there. And of course I forgot about that this morning. So when I planned on just die cutting plain white 
pieces there was still a bit of ink left in my dies from doing this technique previously and that's given me just the slightest shadows around the detail but it actually looks really cool uh the coordinating stamps are not in stock oh thank you okay well if anyone's got them then um hopefully you all understand how to use them but let's see um da, 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 da. there we go okay does that make sense so if anyone got this set a while ago or you got the stamps and you want to purchase the dies you can use them together but also see if there's any other stamp and die combinations that you've got if it's a symmetrical image then you should also be able to do this too have a go uh, i'm going to hunt out some craft stash ones and see if i can uh, find some that you can do it with that are available or you may have already purchased anyway okay let's get back to get back to what I was doing that's paper piecing so of course uh, any paint tube would have this sort of like well that would be silver wouldn't it this bit I'm thinking of sort of Windsor and Newton paint tubes would have this paint swatch on it the square in the middle so you can cut this from all sorts of different colors do 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 need my tweezers hi Jacqueline how are you thank you yeah pre-kindergarten garden garden I dropped me teas <laughs> <coughs> oh to tell you what though but visiting the office yesterday as I was leaving I was given a big box full of uh, new creative craft product items that are going to be coming out over the next few weeks and months and you are going to love them they are so cool there's I mean obviously I can't really say too much just yet but a lot of these are tools that big brands have done and they are extortionate money and I know that because they are creative craft products they're going to be an absolute bargain that's all I'm saying Okay, so I've got the silver, uh, no, I'll have the white lid, the silver bit for the middle. Just these silver strips. So these get a bit fiddly, and really I should be cutting these. I just realised this is adhesive. Oh, well, that's helpful, isn't it? I think it's adhesive, it is. It's adhesive mirror card. I have no idea where that came from. It was in my scraps box. Wasn't that helpful? So, uh, Sam, if you're still watching, are you live today? I'm assuming you will be this afternoon at some point. Who watched Sam's um, live on Craft Stash in the Craft Stash chat group? That's something I need to talk to you all about as well, actually is the craft stash lives are no longer on craft stash alone they are on in the craft stash group um so it's craft stash chat uh, you can go along and join instantly so you just have to answer i think they ask you to answer a question something like that and um there all the friday lives will be there but tomorrow i will be there live at 12 30 i know it's thursday tomorrow but 12.30 with Justine Hovey because she, today her new collection has launched on Craft Stash. So we're going to do a live tomorrow and she's going to share it with you. So that'll be fun. There you go. Look, so got my little paint tube. Just going to bend this over my pokey tool, just roll it give it some shape I might have to add some glue under that mirror card because although it's kind of sticky it's not very sticky I think the edges are lifting so we'll see how that goes but there we go so we've got a paint tube and yeah I'm not happy with that stickiness it's not very sticky I don't know what the it, it's not a vinyl it's actually a mirror card but for some reason it's got an adhesive backing no idea where I got it from. Does anyone else have things in the scraps box and they actually don't know where they came from? There we go. That's better. So let's just put a little bit of glue under the tabs here. 
Has anyone got suggestions for other things that I can have in the compartments of these? I'm thinking of doing the word art, sort of 3D letters in here or in here, either way. Um, and I'm also thinking of maybe trying to create something like a three dimensional camera. I love cameras or I've got typewriters in my textures collections. So, yeah, what do you think? I've got to fill that one. These two little ones, the brushes and things and paint all, is all going to go in here for now. And that one still needs filling. So what would you put in there? if it was you now I feel like these are all a little bit bright look that's why that's come off because it's adhesive so now I need to peel this off so my daughter started university today as in she started Monday but that was only online induction and it took her about five minutes but they'd set aside two days for that it's crazy um, so she's been kicking her heels for the last two days, but she's finally today driven into the university. So she's going to university near, uh, it's about 40, 45 minutes away from us to drive. So she's going there and she's just gone this morning and she messaged me to say she was there and she'd arrived okay because she's been worrying about it a lot, a lot of worry and stress about actually getting there because she's, She's not even been driving a year. And it's a big thing to drive into university. Then she's like, well, what if the car park's full up? So we've had to do sort of trips around the town to find other places she could go if she needs to. And yeah, it's all been a little bit stressful. But she's there now, first day. Fingers crossed she'll be okay. I'm sure she will. So let me see, you watched live from the, oh, live from Sam in replay, oh I say yes in the replay. Uh, I didn't get to watch it, I was, well I kind of, I, I, I came in and I said a quick hello but I did have to shoot off, I couldn't stay unfortunately, it was a shame but uh, it looked good, looked fun, I love, I really want to play with the wax things. I really want to play with them. I'm going to sneeze them with it as well. <laughs> going to sneeze. Right, so I'm going to do three tubes. Sorry, two tubes, one big brush. I might do the smaller brushes as well, but I'll start positioning these. I think I might turn my hot glue gun on and get that prepared. I've got the Sizzix hot glue. And there we go. Get that ready. There. so I'm doing a big push those of you who are watching on Facebook if you go on YouTube as well I'd like to just ask you or remind you I do have a YouTube channel and I'm doing a big push on it late, lately so there's videos going up a few videos each week um, so if you've not already I've just done it again I've just glued that mirror card down with the backing on um, so if you're not already subscribe to my youtube channel i'd love it if you could pop over there just search lou collins crafts uh, and equally we're also working really hard at building up the craft stash youtube channel so uh, while you're there if you pop a subscribe on the craft stash one as well so you'll usually find me creating a video for one of those two channels every day there we go okay I'm not going to do the little brushes just yet. Let's bring this in and see where these are going to fit. Now we already put the word wonderful up there, didn't we, last time? What's under here? It feels oh, paint tube. Right, so um so if these sit in the back, I would then probably want to do something on a bit closer on the front. You put a thimble and a spool of thread. I was thinking about, I've got bobbins. I've actually got metal bobbins. There's one in here. Um, but what I've also got, it's not here. Somewhere I've got some really cool sort of wooden spools 
old vintage wooden spools if i can find those and wind some twine or or thread around those they would be cool wouldn't they i could i mean i'm quite happy to build things up put things in front of things so there's lots to look at this is just the start um yeah so we'll see hi angela how are you good morning shelly hope you're well what are you making um Vintage flowers would be nice. Tiny mixed media card. Hi, Deborah. Hope you're well. Um, so, do, 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 do. Shelley, I'm just continuing with the um, painter's tray. Print, sorry, painter's tray. Printer's tray. This is not wanting to stay, this one. I'm continuing with the printer's tray. Uh, I've just used some of my um, brush strokes dies make a paintbrush and tube of paint but to be honest today is more about having a quick chat with you all because I feel like it's been forever since we've properly had a chat and said hello it's not I mean it's so because last week I didn't I was I had the paper craft society um craft along on the in the afternoon oh no that was in the morning so I didn't do my live last week how tempted have you been to complete this off video? No, I've not at all actually, because I craft all day, every day on other things. So for Craft Stash, I'm creating video all the time. So once I put this aside, I actually kind of do forget about it at the moment. Sometimes I think, oh, that will that will look good in my printer's tray, but I'm not actually tempted to do it yet until I'm with you all. But you'd soon know about it if I had. Right, so I'm not, I need to be quite quick with this because I'm using hot glue and I'm just going to pop that on the bottom there. So I'm hoping that you can see that that's actually got dimension there so it's not just stuck flat to the back. Flat to the back. <clears throat> one two just glue in those tabs you don't have to use the tabs like I say if you don't want to let's sit that one there and then this one is going to be this this one's going to actually be laid down I think so I'm just going to put glue on the bottom ones and have this laid down in ah in front I didn't want it there I don't want you there can't get the quite can't quite get the right angle there that's what I wanted now you've put a lot of glue haven't you everywhere you've made a mess and I must talk to their craft projects and craft items that's a bit better there we go so there's the tube laid down there as well um Oh, I wonder whether I should have had. It might be a bit late now. No, of course, of course it's not too late. I can make it work. Ah, perfect. So salvage patina, distress spray stain. Let's take the lid off. Didn't do this. Just mark the top. See if I can get that to run down a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go splat. It's just splattered everywhere in there. Made a lot of mess. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Now that's going to need some more things to it event you know so i think we need some more at the front here somehow on the side we'll work around that something from your stitch in time collection yeah because i've got bobbins and dress uh dress forms and all sorts in that haven't i project would be great thank you sylvia um what did someone else say someone else said spool of thread there were some other suggestions, weren't there? I love how it's looking so far. Thank you. Um, love what you're making. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm not making much progress at the moment. But I have also got 
these brushes so the brushes don't have to be in in there do they they could be on the front I've got glue glue strings everywhere <laughs> so I've got these so I could do a bundle of brushes as well that might be nice but I'd kind of probably like to put them in do you know what? I feel like we need a little jar of water how am I going to do a little jar of water I don't think I've got anything in here I feel like I need a little plastic I don't know I feel like I need a tiny little plastic lid now I'm looking around all my my craft room and obviously it's not my full craft room but let's have a look what have we got so we have got <laughs> I've got my tray of mixed media things here but there's a what's under there that's all my stamps or some of my favorite stamps that is what have we got so we've got do you know what I'm thinking what about something like this for a little is that that's a bit big isn't it I was gonna say a pot of water but it's a bit big hmm I might have to think on that one We might have to have a bit more of a think on that one. I think I've got to the stage where I need to wait. Do you know what? A clock would be nice as well, wouldn't it? Love clocks. I actually once decorated an old... Um, you know the old clocks that have the bell at the top? I decorated one of those ones. So I took, basically took the insides out and put um, flowers in it. I think I will have some flowers. We'll have to hand make some flowers, but I'll need to grab the supplies for those. But I think I think I need to have a think, have a clear plan for next time and make sure I've got all the supplies with me. But that's certainly that stage done, isn't it? So there we go. So what's happening this week? Let's come back to me. So and say hello to those of you who didn't catch me at the beginning. Hi. So this week, um, do, 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 do. we're already on Wednesday that's ridiculous so tomorrow like I said I'm going to be live with Justine Hovey that's going to be in the craft stash chat group so whether you are on Facebook or YouTube if you go over to Facebook and search craft stash chat if you're not already in it um, so 12 30 tomorrow me and Justine will be having a chat and we'll be looking at her new collection on Friday the same at 12 30 in the craft stash chat group I'm going to be live with um, Helen Griffin she's got a new collection and if you've seen her sneak peeks you'll know it's all Halloween so excited for that ha uh, Helen often she loves dressing up she I don't know if you remember at Christmas she had a Christmas beard on and then um, Halloween um, she often has like a witch's hat or something um, one more thing I do want to tell you about and I know there's been posts on my page already and there's been lots of questions about it so I'll try and remember all the information I just realized I have no makeup on whatsoever today um, so, and that's the um, stress-free card making summit now this is something that Justine Hovey and Laurel Beard asked me to take part in I was really excited to be one of 29 crafters who are submitting presentations for uh there's going to be about 20,000 online attendees to this crafting summit on the um 29th 30th and 1st so the end of this month friday saturday sunday now we've all submitted a video presentation that's going to be available for everybody to watch and the presentation, the brief was, it needs to be Christmas themed, so it's going to be about making your Christmas cards. Hi Nova, glad you could join us. And uh, what we were asked to do is create something that only used five supplies or less. So um, obviously things like cardstock, uh, inks, I think inks would have been one of your supplies, but adhesives weren't included, so your basic tools aren't included, but five other supplies or less. Um, I've created a presentation or a video that is about uh, sort of layered stamping and getting lots of different colours coming through in your backgrounds from that. So that's really good fun. And these are exclusive video tutorials that you won't be able to see anywhere else. 
um so i've got on my page and i will post about it again today and i've also put on youtube if you go to community the community tab on my page there's a post there that takes you through to the free registration for that weekend for that event so you can join for free and for the first 24 hours you have free access to the videos and you can pick and choose which videos you want to watch obviously we're not expecting you to be able to see everything in 24 hours um, but if you like what you're seeing you can upgrade and you can see everything for they want to say lifetime but obviously how long is lifetime so for a very long time you'll have access to everything now there's also um freebies so i've submitted a freebie with my presentation and that is a printable download and i actually use it on my card so you can also put as part of the sentiment so you can also use that and i think most people have also submitted a freebie and it might be a workbook um another video that you can watch that helps you all these different things so the weekend is going to be amazing there's some i mean there's um may 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 made it there's ralph tyndall in there obviously justine and laurel as well um there's uh oh do you know what there's so many crafters i can't pronounce their names and i can see them um and i only know their first names so go and check that out i i've got like i say i've got a link on my facebook page and a link on my youtube community tab as well taking you through and you'll see all the details but it's going to be such good fun and i'm really honored to have been asked now some people are saying that they um they were happy to pay to upgrade so that they have sort of the lifetime access to all these videos and everything else but they noticed that the price wasn't 39 dollars, which is what it is um and that's because i believe it's kind of like if when you first sign up when you first register i think you get told you've got 20 minutes to upgrade for 39 dollars i believe or something like that and i believe after that time it then goes up a little bit more and the price increases the longer you leave it when as you decide to upgrade so i think that's just to uh if, you, if you're going to sign up decide first whether you're going to upgrade or not and do it quickly rather than later because you do end up paying more so but it'll be so worth it there's going to be so much inspiration the names are huge the people that have taken part it's just phenomenal and yeah I'm really excited about it so um i will also be doing a live q a on the on the saturday and that's going to be 8 30 eastern time so i think at night in the sorry no 3 30 in the afternoon so it'll be about 8 30 our time in england here so yes yeah, so i just wanted to talk about that because the stress-free card making summit is everywhere you've probably seen lots of your favorite crafters posting about it and talking about it um and also craft stash are sponsoring it as well not the whole thing they're one of the sponsors so uh i know craft stash have a special code for attendees to use over the weekend um so keep an eye out for that as well um it's well worth just joining for free so that you can see the code really but if you're going to join definitely please do use my link because that's like a tracking link um so yeah there we go that's hopefully explained that for you uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna go today nice and early and catch up since i was in the office all day yesterday and lots of crafting to do and i will see you hopefully I, you, you can join me live lots of you um hang on a sec let me just have a look at the comments how tempted have you been? Oh, sorry, I've just read that, haven't I? You seem to be blocked from Craft Stash chat. Um, Julie, how long have you had your account? Uh, I think you have to have, have had your account more than six months um, and things like that. But I will take a look. That's okay, Julie. Um, so Julie Young, I will take a look and see if there's anything, any reason I can see for you um, not being able to get into Craft Stash chat. Okay, so Julie Young, I'll try to remember your name and I'll do that straight away. Uh, so presumably you've tried to join, you've answered the questions. So it may just be that we need to um, approve you manually for some reason. And it could just be, like I say, it could just be something like you've not had your account very long or something like that. It often happens. Um, Facebook robots have funny ways of filtering people out. So, um, yeah, so hopefully there's a little bit of a catch up with you all. I'll be here next Wednesday. We'll have a proper crafting session next Wednesday. I will do a card. And um, if anyone's got any themes or any particular techniques that you'd like me to cover, uh, let me know. 
because it's always good to do something that you want to see okay all right i think i'm done now um i'll see you all next wednesday well i'll see you thursday in the craft slash chat group tomorrow and friday okay take care everybody